And so at the risk of, of boiling down your, your, you know, your, your mid-career's worth of experiences, what are the secrets of doing something that's truly transformational? Uh, it's, there, there, are, there, are probably many, uh, there are probably many different things to focus on, but, uh, but one that I, I uh, put particular stress on is the idea of doing something that's valuable and that other people are not doing. And so I, um, there's an intellectual version of this question. Tell me something that's true that very few people agree with you on. Mm. And then there's a business version of this. Uh, what great business is, uh, is nobody building? And, uh, and so uh, if, if you're building um, a, a great business that lots of other people are building, much trickier proposition. You know, the 20th um, online pet food company, mm -hmm. the 12th thin panel solar pa uh, company, um, probably tricky, very competitive. It's like opening up a restaurant in San Francisco. <laughs> Terrible business idea. Uh, but if you're building something that hasn't quite been done um, and has this unique aspect, you have a chance to, uh, to create a monopoly, which is how, how one really does well in business. So to be clear, you would steer away from something that very well may be a good business idea and may be a decent money maker for this reason. Uh, I tend to think um, these things are linked. So I think if you have uh, many businesses in an area, they will compete with each other and they will compete away the profits. If you have an area where um, there's a one-of-a-kind business that, uh, that dominates it, um, it will tend to be a, um, a unique and very valuable business. And so do you want to break that cycle as an investor and as an entrepreneur? Is that one of your goals? Or are you more trying to observe the phenomenon? Well, I'm, I'm trying to, um, I mean, it's just sort of, the modest goal is just to um, uh, explain what I've learned in the last 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so there are certainly, um, certainly the, the, the place I, I would like to do, I think we need to do more technology as a society. I'm, I've, uh, I've often articulated the view that we're living in a society where we have a lot of innovation in the world of bits and computers, not so much in the world of atoms um, and um, you know, other, other technologies, and that it would be good for us to have uh, more innovation in our society. And I worry that um, the rewards for innovation have not been um, um, great enough in areas outside of outside of computer technology. So it is definitely something that I, I keep looking at to see if one can, one can try to do things in transportation, in biotech, in energy, all these different areas.